So today I thought I'd play with some of this uh, color shifting color. This is Purple Flash, and I've got a few other shifting colors as well as the 24 karat gold and some of my Golden Fluid uh, paints as well. And we're going to put a base on this to resin later. So let's have some fun. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Okay, so Tish Winters and I have been playing with acrylic pouring and she's trying to teach me this stuff. Trying, hopefully I'm succeeding a little bit. But anyway, um, I do like this particular color that we've been messing around with. It's, well, you guys know me by now. I love the chameleons and the interface, uh, interference colors and the things that play with light and movement and such. Um, Iridescence are also in that category too. So I couldn't help myself and I thought I would do a base out of these colors, but I definitely want to throw in a, a really dark purple just to give it some contrast. But I've got three of the uh, flash colors. There's 24 karat gold because apparently that's a big deal with uh, acrylic pouring. I haven't quite gotten that message through yet. I haven't used it yet, but at least I'm going to use it with this stuff. But I'm going to play with uh, just painting a base coat on this. And later on, I'm going to do a, a resin over top of this. That might be another video so that this can be put away to cure. And I'll mess with the resin on top of it and what to do. So let's get started. Okay, so one of the ways that you can play with sealing up boards is clearly painting uh, an acrylic paint on top of it. Um, and that's kind of what I'm going to do today. So we're just going to go loose for now and mess around with this. I might even go as far as, uh-oh, there's a little bit of something on there. All right, I'm going to hand dust this off real quick and then put a little bit of alcohol on a rag. Water content's not that great for resin. Uh, now, granted, uh, acrylics have a water base to it. So when I go to paint this, I will let it dry for 24 hours really good. Um, just to make sure that all the paint is fully dry and cured and such. And then it'll be okay for the resin to go on top. But underneath, I don't want the, the wood to get wet because that wood will definitely absorb that moisture. Evaporate a bit. I'm just trying to feel if there's anything left over. I think that's just irreg irregularities in the wood there. Now, this particular uh, turntable that I've got, it's not completely uh, flat and smooth like a like a nice sheet of marble is. You can feel some. Uh, just like grooves in the wood when you uh, run your fingers across it. You know, this is a silly test or a trick that I learned a long time ago. If you're trying to feel for a surface and see if you've got it perfectly smooth or if there's any kind of grooves in there, like just very, very slight, close your eyes and feel with your hands. For some reason, it just gets you to really focus on, your, on the touch of your hands. I'm going to advise walking and closing your hands and feeling the wood, but I think you get my point. So we're just gonna paint and kind of play with this. And I even thought, I wonder if I put some um, iridescent flakes in the resin, if that would be fun too. Uh, now these colors do have a tendency to be a little bit on the transparent side. So this is going to be interesting to see how they interact together. I think there'll be a lot of blending going on. Ooh, this is already looking promising. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't look like it's all purple again. 
I was so bummed out when I was like looking at the camera and just like double checking where I was at, making sure I was still on camera the, uh, this last, or this one time when I did um, some tones of blues and purples and all that kind of stuff. And it was looking, it was looking really cool on my end. And I looked in the camera, it was like, it was all blue. I was like, are you kidding me? There's so many different tones of colors here. And it looked like all the same color. I was like, oh, this is not right. So what I thought I would do is just little hints of gold here and there to highlight. And I'm gonna bring in the uh, deep purple after a little bit, just to, like I said, just give it a little bit of contrast. And that way it's not too monotoned. And I'm not watering down any of the colors here. I'm just going straight. I'm not worried about the brush strokes right now because this is going to be fun. Playing with textures a little bit and uh, some sheen because of the um, color shifting properties. So there might be some areas where the paint's thicker, and that's okay. Just trying to be mindful when I get close to the edge, so that way I have a nice, decent edge and it's not messy and sloppy. The inside, I don't have a problem with it being messy and sloppy. I just want the outside to have a nice edge. I believe these paints are, yeah, they're folk art. So you should be able to get them at um, Michael's or um, maybe even a Walmart. I think I've seen them on Amazon too. Hey, the purple flash is kind of uh, hard to come by. And same thing with the 24 karat gold one. So this is a basic coat of this. Let's see, do I want to do any more of the blue? I think I do. Let's see. All right, I'm throwing in some purple in here. This is the dark purple just to give it a little drama. That is exactly what it's gonna bring. There, that works good. All right, I'm throwing some gold here and there. Oh, I like that. Let's see if I can do that again. Just trying to give a nice big brush stroke in there. That's fun. All right. All right, Jeff, you're influencing my language some. <laughs> me going, that's fun. That's like, made me think of Jeff right away.
All right, I think I'm gonna stop filming. Very simple. Let me bring you in. All right, this is what I'm seeing from my point of view here. So let me get you directly over top. All right. I zoom in. So I'm really, really, really liking that big brush stroke. And that gold really makes that brush stroke stand out. I have a lot of it showing up with the purple, the deep purple when I put that in. And there's a little bit of wood popping through, but I'm okay with that. I kind of like wood popping through here and there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's fun. Look at that, just in there, there's a whole mess of colors. All right, let me put this guy away and let it dry up. Get ready for resin. All right, you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. And check the links in the description below for any supplies I use and also links to my Etsy store. So any colors I use in my resin, I get them from Artist Till Death. But these guys will have some other links as well.